So up today we've got our Woodland Mills HM126 bandsaw mill and I've got an upgrade polyurethane belt to go on here. This is supposed to be an upgrade. I don't know. We'll see. Got to untension the belt and take that belt off and then try to fit this one on. Let's see if we can do it. Blades off. Let's take off the belt. This belt's a little worse for the old wear here. Now you might be able to do this by hand, maybe not. Let me see if we can get a screwdriver in here. Now I actually had this off before and put it back on because the replacements that I had, one was too small, the other was too big. One was too small, I couldn't get it on and I just couldn't get it. And then the too big one flopped more than that one did. So I said, well, I know that flopsy is okay, but I'd rather not super flopsy. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a tight stretch. I don't know how much these stretch. So let's get some clamps. There's one spot. Now we can hopefully start working this around. I'm going to throw some grease on here. Because getting this to slide on looks like it's going to be a bit of a chore. Put one clamp in the same spot and then work on the other one. the clamps around. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice. Work the clamp. Next screwdriver. Under there. Screwdriver, big flat plates. Big flat Beauty, look at that. I can't believe that worked. So the poly belt here definitely has some nice stretch to it. The rubber belts don't. They're much harder to get on. Much, much harder to get on. So it looks pretty good. Let's put the blade back on and see how that goes. Blade tracking is going to be different because of the diameter difference, I think. And there you have it. One. 
Hopefully you're back in business on your HM126. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.